Hey there YouTube, this is HerSouls underscore 23 and today I want to bring you an unboxing on the iPhone SE that came out today. Now I pre-ordered mine last Friday, which I believe was the, 30, the 24th and I received it today maybe 20 minutes ago. As you can see on the front of the box it shows that I have a gold iPhone SE, have the gold logo there, iPhone SE written in gold and a gold logo there and I did pick up the 16 gig variant which I'm sure most people are going to want to go for the 64 gigs, the 16 gig it's $399, whereas the 64 gig is $499. So let's get into it. Anyone who owns an Apple iPhone 5 and 5S is going to be very familiar with this design, which I think, in my opinion, is the most beautiful iPhone Apple ever made. Let's look inside and see what we get. Of course, we get the SIM eject tool, and then you have your usual uh, pamphlet and stuff for which are Apple stickers, uh, which most people stick them to. Then you're left with the headphones, the power adapter, and the lightning cable. So let's put all these things away. There's nothing different in the box. So let's move on to the phone. Now this phone, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, holding this phone in my hand is weird because I do have the iPhone 6S Plus, but like I said, this is a beautiful phone. So let's put it up against my iPhone 6, and it basically swallows, <laughs> swallows this phone. Let's put it up to an iPhone 6S. Yeah, it's not really that much bigger or smaller than an iPhone 6S, but let's put it up next to its twin brother, and that's gonna be the iPhone 5S. We're gonna stand them up, and we're gonna see. Of course, they are the same height. Looks to be the same width. Everything is still in the same exact order. Then you have the back of the iPhone 5S here. It just says iPhone. Whereas the back of the iPhone SE, it says iPhone SE. On the side here, both SIM trays are in the same place and then everything at the bottom is in the same place. Like I said, the phone is identical to the 5 and 5S, but the internals are different. The iPhone SE has a lot of things from the 6S, meaning the 12 mega megapixel camera on the back, which is a great thing. Now it still does have a 1.2 megapixel camera in the front, but it does have the retina flash like the iPhone 6S has and the iPhone 6S Plus. So a lot of people, yeah, um, Apple didn't bump up the camera, but I really don't think that's a big deal because the retina flash in the front should help that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my SIM card out of my iPhone 6S Plus and I'm gonna put it inside the iPhone SE and I'm gonna use it for a week. So if you guys wanna know my review on that, check back and subscribe please for the review next week. I'm gonna do battery life pictures. Uh, this phone does come with 4K video now. Also it has Apple Pay. A lot, a lot of goodies. A lot of tech people aren't gonna like this phone. I really don't think it's made for the really high-end techie people. I think this is made for a person who wants a smaller form factor and Apple finally delivered and made the iPhone 5S newer by making it the iPhone SE. And I think it's really gonna be a win because millions of people bought the iPhone 5S still last year, even with the 6, 6S, 6 Plus, and 6S Plus being out. So far as I'm concerned, this is a winner for Apple. So here you go guys, until later, the iPhone SE, love it or hate it.